just a massive, massive welcome to all of you to the dinosaur exhibition just behind these doors. And it's the, the biggest exhibition um, that we're hosting here on the pavilion. And welcome to the city and, and sea city. It's been three long years in the making, but fossils, relics and even dinosaurs have travelled across the country for the launch of DinoFest 2015. Contributions from the University of Southampton, the Natural History Museum and Southampton Cultural Trust, along with many others, welcome counsellors, media and school kids alike to the focus point of a new summer adventure. The Dinosaur Exhibition at Sea City is part of DinoFest 2015, which is a Hampshire-wide initiative. So there's loads of things happening around the county, but we really are the jewel in the crown. And I think it's a really great opportunity to put Southampton on the map, and especially with um, the great research and kind of world-class discoveries that the university are making. No one, no one really knows about it. And I graduated from the university, and I didn't even know we did paleontology. So no, it's absolutely brilliant, and I'm really pleased it has come to Southampton. When you go inside, you'll realise that there is something for everyone. So from, from young children, we've got interactive dinosaurs, kind of life-size ones. Well, obviously, we saw Shadow just now as well, which kids will absolutely love. Um, I feel like a big kid because every time I go in, I take a selfie of myself with the dinosaurs. But everything for young children to your real dinosaur geeks, which I'm slowly becoming one. So about kind of world leading discoveries that have happened within paleontology recently and the University of Southampton and the brilliant research that they do. But it wasn't just funding, planning and selfie opportunities which were at the forefront of everybody's minds. The research and accuracy kept one PhD student extremely busy. So the museum team approached our department at Southampton, uh, particularly my boss, Dr Gareth Dyke, and he recommended me to be a consultant on this exhibition to try and get across some of the weird and wonderful research we do at Southampton. I think the aim of DinoFest overall is to introduce people to some of the rich paleontological history we have across the whole of the south of England, instrumental in describing dinosaurs in the first place, but also the fact that we've got some really strong and talented scientists working here in Southampton in particular and this exhibition here at Sea City Museum is about getting across the science messages and making sure we understand that there's a lot of work that goes into the scene behind the scenes in paleontology and working out how dinosaurs moved, what they looked like, everything they ate. There's so much work goes into it and we're just trying to give a snapshot of what we do here. Whether you're looking for a historic adventure or something to do on a rainy day, DinoFest has something for everyone. April Brown, Solid News Now.